everyone. Today's mainline TV production of the Willows Park Reserve show is coming via Zoom due to the current coronavirus pandemic. I would like to welcome everyone to our first show in a while. Our goal is to produce a monthly program to inform our audience about the Willows Park Reserve in Villanova. My name is Will Nord and I'm the executive director at the Willows Park Reserve. I'm happy to be your host today. The Willows Park Preserve is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was founded in 2017 by a group of passionate Radnor residents who see revitalizing the mansion as an opportunity to create a public space for the people of the greater Philadelphia area while increasing community health and connection through expanded programming. To tell us a little bit more about the history of our nonprofit organization, the progress we're making and some future plans, I would like to bring in longtime Radnor residents and Willow Park, Willows Park Preserve board members, Howard Holden and John DeFlanders. Thank you both for joining me today. Um, Howard, could you please introduce yourself um, and what you were doing before you joined the Willows Park Preserve board and the role you're playing right now? Okay, thank you. The uh, role I'm playing right now is as president of the board. It has been a recent uh, appointment. Um, and prior to that, uh, I've served on the board for about a year. Uh, my background is both horticulture and facilities management. Uh, so my passion was you know, to assist the Willis Mansion in the pursuit of making this the people's house for Ragnar. Um, my, again, my background was is basically I helped start Chanticleer, uh, you know, lived on the estate for 12 years, so I understood this estate life. Um, then I went into higher education facilities management and uh, completed my education or my career, excuse me, at uh, uh, Cabrini University, worked there for 15 years uh, as a facilities administrator. Um, I also worked with the township a lot while going through that process of developing uh, Cabrini's campus. Prior to that, I was a founding member of the Radnor Township Shade Tree Commission uh, and has served on that commission for 20 years. Uh, so this all seems uh, natural to me in that this is the township property. Um, the, the, the Willows Park is a real gem here in Radnor, and in my way of thinking that the mansion is is the diamond in the ring, and uh, I, I I really have a good time working with the township, and I think that will uh, assist us in, in in reaching our goal. Thanks, Howard. Um, John, turning to you, can you tell us a little bit about your background before you joined us here at the Willows Park Preserve, and then also what role are you playing right now? I'm happy to. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted to uh, to be involved again in uh, in a Radnor project. Uh, you, you may remember that I was the superintendent of schools here for 17 years prior to uh, prior to going to the University of Pennsylvania, where I spent 15 years uh, running the Penn Center for Educational Leadership. Um, during those uh, total time period, that 30 some odd years, uh, I served on uh, the boards of, of Cabrini College. Uh, at, at that time, it was a college, not a university. Um, I served as uh, on the United Way board for a number of years. Uh, I was on the board at the Haverford School for over 10 years. And, and so I'm delighted to come back to a board role, which uh, gives me the opportunity to work with the Radnor residents again after, after all these years of somewhat being away. Of course, I live in the town and have, always, have lived here for 30 some odd years. Um, my role on the board it was, was as a board member and recently um, I was uh, drafted <laughs> into the role of vice president and with the chance to work with Howard is a great pleasure. A a as you may recall, I, I did a lot of uh, work with building schools and renovating schools when I was in Radnor. So to, to, to renovate or be part of the work uh, to renovate the Willows is a, is a, is a, is a real pleasure. The Willows was the site of lots of things during 
the years that I was here. And Bob Crawford and I had a great friendship as he was uh, channeling the Willows work into the community events and and um, and activities. And and we had many there. Some of you may have may remember proms and meetings and 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 just uh, pleasant get-togethers, uh, trainings uh, there. It, it, the Willows was the site for a lot of our, our uh, work in, 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 in the school district. Um, at, at Penn, one of the services that my center had was a, 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 a service called Penn Search. Um, and that was a process that I developed for doing searches for superintendents and presidents of private schools and headmasters. And uh, when I uh, joined the board at, at the Willows Preserve, uh, we, we needed to, uh, to find an executive director to pick up the, the bulk of the leadership work. And, and you may remember that I, I hosted one television, one of these broadcasts with Sarah Pilling, and it was clear to me that uh, that wasn't going to be my future. So I worked very hard. We had, uh, we, uh, Howard was on the committee with other board members. We, we, we had over 60 applicants from multiple states and absolutely great candidates. And Will Hoard was the, uh, was the candidate who finally got the job. So I'm, I'm so pleased that you'll get to know him and, uh, and see him doing this work, as well as the other wonderful things that he's going to do for the Willows Park Preserve. And, and I'll still be working uh, in the background with Howard and others and, and do, doing some occasional training. And, and, and uh, um, the work in schools is really my passion. Uh, it, it's been my life's work. And we're hoping that uh, as we start ramping up and, and looking at, at, <clears throat> at the kinds of things that the Willows could be known for, uh, that school work is, is one of those things. Uh, uh, the, uh, the program at the middle school is still in place that, that, um, uh, that, that, that focused on the Brandywine watershed and, and the Willows Park presents a wonderful basis for uh, study and work and, and in, in many ways uh, is, is, is even a better site than going all the way to, uh, to, to the Brandywine watershed to, to study it. So we, we're, we, we've connected with the Radnor superintendent who's a lovely, uh, is, is a lovely young man uh, and, and we'll be connecting to private schools in the future. Um, so that we, we can engage schools in some of the critical work that we see uh, uh, the Willows uh, playing, uh, playing a role in. Um, um, in. In that search, we had 60 applicants for Will Hoard's job, which, it, which, was, which was a considerable response from multiple states, and many of the individuals were very well qualified. So, in Will, you're getting the, the, the best of the best. And, and so we, uh, we're, we're going to be working closely with him and uh, I want to turn it back to him so that he can tell you a little bit about himself and, and, and move uh, this program along. Will. Okay. Well, well thank, thank, you. thank you, John. That's uh, very, very humbling. Um, I am humbled to have um, been offered this position and then also to accept this position. I'm very excited by this opportunity. Um, I think our audience probably knows you and Howard a lot more than they know me um, from you, the two of you living in the township for so long and the roles that you have played before you joined the board here. Um, again, my name is Will Nord. Um, I grew up in Radnor Township. Um, so having lived in Wayne and then Bryn Mawr, I've spent many, many days at the Willows Park. Um, I graduated from Radnor High School in 1995, and then I graduated, went on to graduate from Mount St. Mary's College in Emmitsburg, Maryland in 1999 with a Bachelor's of Arts in History. Um, I now live in Plymouth Meeting, not too far from the Willows Park Preserve, um, and I live with my wife, Beth, and my three children, Will, Cassidy, and Ryan. Um, 
So I, I, I just started as the executive director here at the Willows Park Preserve not too long ago. Um, I believe December 1st was my first day. Um, before taking on this new position, I spent 17 years working in schools. Um, I was everything from a classroom teacher for many years to spending a few years in admissions um, and even two years as the head of grades three through eight at my last, at my last school. I also received my master's in school leadership from the University of Pennsylvania in 2013. Also have done a lot of coaching, um, specifically coaching soccer. I've coached at Cardinal Harrah High School, Bayard Ruston High School. I've coached for Lower Marion Soccer Club, FC Delco. Um, and I also had a great opportunity to start the, the first men's soccer team at Rosemont College. Um, so that's a little bit of my background. I come from an education background, um, a leadership background, um, and I'm just really excited to be a part of this passionate organization. What really sold me on the opportunity in this position was a mission that is completely, that completely revolves around community. Um, it's community focused, it's giving back um, this house, this beautiful house to the community for everyday use. And that, you know, absolutely sold me um, on this position. And just on top of that, doing this, having this mission, having this focus in the, in the township that I grew up in was just an added bonus and really sold, sold me um, on, this, on this job, this new, this new career opportunity for myself. Um, so overall, um, as I said in my interviews back a few months ago, the decision to take on this job was very um, was very personal um, and professional. I thought it was a great mix of those two um, that I could also bring my experiences, past experiences and skills to this new role and help um, this organization into the future. So thank you, John and Howard, for that opportunity to introduce myself, even though I'm the host. Um, I don't think I'll have to introduce myself every show, you know, in the months ahead, but it's a good opportunity, so thank you. Um, sure. moving, moving on, Howard, I want to go back to you and I know, um, some of these projects, you know, started and some were completed before actually the three of us even got here, but can, can you go back and just tell the audience a little, um, a little bit about some of the projects that have been completed, um, either, you know, a year or so ago, or maybe even just recently, what are, you know, what are we doing over here at the, at the mansion? Yeah, um, basically the mansion uh, was kind of mothballed. Um, you know, it served uh, Radnor residents for, for many years after the, the Zenzingers left it and Radnor acquired it. Um, and I'd say it was oh, about 10 years ago, there was a big controversy and there was a, a lot of um, discussion as to, okay, what purpose does this house serve now? And there were several proposals put out there. One was to be a nursery school, one was to be a restaurant, and there couldn't, there wasn't any real conclusions as to what would work. And about three years ago, uh, Tish Long, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, gathered a group of people and said, you know, yeah, we think we can make this work for the community's benefit. So they started what's called the Willows Park Preserve and uh, have raised a fair amount of money. Uh, and with that money, they have put on a marvelous roof system. Um, it is an extraordinary roof. And they started in the right place. When you have an old uh, building that has not been maintained, the first thing you look at is the roof because if you don't fix the roof, whatever else you do is is uh, counterproductive. So again, they put on a wonderful uh, tile roof system and that was the first phase. Uh, we just had some discussion yesterday with the architect uh, for the second phase, which includes a lot of uh, exterior and what we call envelope issues, you know, painting, stucco repair, uh, restoring the terraces. And the goal is to make this a place that is welcoming uh, for the Radnor, restaurant, the Radnor residents and beyond. Um, 
you know, for community affairs. Um, you know, lately we have been, you know, doing some painting on the interior and chasing heat issues. I mean, it is an old building with an old steam heat system that is kind of finicky, but we're getting it under control. Um, and the what we call the fountain wall, which is in the courtyard, um, is one of the next projects I think we need to to address um, soon. That uh, beautiful wall of, uh, in the courtyard is is deteriorating rapidly, and uh, you know that's that was the site of a lot of weddings. Um, so you know that, that's the kind of thing that we're we're chasing. Um, COVID has really put a um, put the brakes on, as with many, many nonprofits. Um, so we've had to do some retooling of our, our plans, um, but we're still pressing forward and working with the township to, uh, to continue to move this project forward. Um, Howard, thank you, Howard. Um, you know, we obviously there's so many visitors that come to our come to the park every day, even during the winter and even during a pandemic. Um, and they can walk by the house and see the beautiful new roof. That is dramatic. It's obvious. Um, but as Howard, as you mentioned, there's a lot of things going on inside that are not as noticeable, like <laughs> like getting, you know, the heating system up to speed or the electric, you know, up to speed and, um, you know, the painting of the walls that are all necessities um, in order to prepare it, to open it back up for everyday, everyday use. Right. Um, so, um, you know, I, I, think, I think that's a message to our audience as well, that, you know, there'll be some obvious improvements to the outside of the house um, in the months, weeks and months ahead, but sometimes, um, there might seem like there's nothing going on, but we're, you know, we're trying to we're trying to move forward and do whether it's a big project or a little project um, to keep the momentum going. And as Howard said, whether it's the, um, the 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 wishing well wall or the wishing well down in and the other in the turnaround or our our terraces um, that overlook the pond and the stream, um, we have beautiful outdoor spaces um so it's not just the interior of the building but it's the immediate exterior spaces surrounding um immediately surrounding the building that we want to take advantage of and and complete as soon as possible so the community and every visitor can use those spaces um, john turning turning it back over to you 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 mentioned um, a minute or two ago about some other opportunities, not just some of the physical structures, mm -hmm. um, but kind of the community use. And, and so can you can you talk a little bit more about um, the, the, the possible um, partnerships and relationships that we would love love to build, that we've started to build, but we would love to build uh, for the future? I'm happy to, uh, Will. Will, Will, uh, Will Nord brings energy uh, and enthusiasm and youth to this work. Um, uh, as as a, a rather old man um, that I am, <laughs> I, I can I can uh, uh, I can think back uh, on the many times that uh, Radner used the willows for a, a variety of purposes. When when I first came here as a superintendent. The first person that took me on a tour was Bob Crawford, who was the a new township manager, and and he talked about this new project that they had, which was the Willows Park or the Willows Mansion, and and how uh, this could be a, a jewel for the community uh, if it was used and used extensively, and so we we developed an agreement that that the, the school district would, would be a frequent user and, and, uh, and, and pay for that privilege, which was a way of, re of getting revenue into the house for all of the upkeep that was needed. And, and for the thousands of Radnor residents out there that may be watching this broadcast, I, I wanna join Will in, 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 in saying 
that this will not happen without your involvement and without your willingness to, to donate, to help to keep this house uh, uh, moving forward in all of the work that, that, that needs to be done. I mean, Tish Long has been uh, a, a savior really uh, to, to this project uh, and Howard has been uh, uh, just the key to helping to, to uh, oversee the renovations and linking with the township. So I take no credit for what's been done up to this point, but, but I, I say with great enthusiasm, if you're looking for a place that you can bring your family, that you can, you, that you can use yourself, and I'll give you some ideas uh, about that because that's what, that's what I did when I was superintendent. Bob and I agreed that we could, we could do uh, lots of things together with that site. And, and if we paid a, 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 a small amount, that would help the, the project to, to maintain itself. And he fundamentally believed that if this was incorporated into the life of the community, it could sustain itself for a long time. I, I don't know what happened along the way that it that it fell into disrepair and non-use, but there were lots of changes. Uh, you, you know, I know from a, a superintendent's point of view, there were many changes in superintendents. There were there were changes in township managers. But go back to the, the moment that that uh, he took me to the Willows. Uh, we could see lots of potential uses. And actually, there are more uses in this COVID environment because things are being taken to the outside. And, and I, you know, we, I see people walking here all the time. I live in Round Hill behind the Willows. So, we, you know, I walk there myself and, and we've seen lots of people use the Willows as a respite to, to, to uh, being uh, being shuttered uh, and 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 trying to, to to be protective of this COVID environment, there's nothing to stop that now that the the Willows is 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 in a state of of, of repair and improving, because uh, I I don't think we we've, we've touched the tip of the iceberg. Um, you know, we when I was a superintendent, we used the Willows for training. Uh, we, 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 we had teachers, administrators, board members there. We used the Willows for events. I mean, I would hope that if PTA presidents are, are watching this broadcast, they would think about that because all of the schools use the Willows for various events that they needed a lovely environment for. And the PTAs were especially involved. Uh, the, 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 uh, um, the Radnor Education Foundation, which I helped to form when I was a superintendent, does events and and it would be wonderful for for their use and it would be wonderful for the use of the individual schools. We we haven't yet laid out the uh, a plan for that, but but it, it, you know we and we haven't contacted all of the private schools around us, which which we really will do in the future because there's no reason why a school's consortium couldn't use the Willows for educational events, especially those events that involve nature and, and, and protecting the environment and, and the horticulture uh, status that, that the Willows, and, and Howard, uh, who, who is a, a master at this, could probably talk a, a little bit more about this because he knows about that status that, uh, that uh, the Willows has achieved. So, um, whether whether it's uh, meetings or or studying or uh, uh, it, it, the seminars that, that that involve the environment that or, or that really uh, uh, need a home, uh, a place to, to to be held, the the Willows could serve that function very very well for the community. Uh, it did in the past, and it can certainly actually in, in a COVID environment, do more in the future. I'm going to stop there because yeah. you may want to John, yeah. a John, thank, things, thank but. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a few minutes left and I have one more question for the both of you, but you brought up some great points, John, and the emphasis right now, um, specifically in a pandemic and having this outdoor space and concentrating and focusing on our all of our social and emotional and mental well-being. I think there's uh, tremendous opportunity 
uh, to utilize our space in the park. Um, and also just to be clear um, for our audience um, that there's this, we sit on this beautiful 47 and a half acre property that is owned by Radnor Township. Yep. And what we're doing, our nonprofit, the Willows Park Preserve is a nonprofit organization. And we specifically are leasing this building, this house that sits on the property. We're leasing it from the township. And we have taken over all the improvements, the restoration and the preservation of this house in order to give it back to the community and give it back so we can we can provide these great events and great programs that John has touched on and we will talk about in future programming. So um, to end, I want to, you know, in our last, last newsletter to our community members, we asked um, them to tell us why they love the Willows Park Preserve. Um, so in about a minute, Howard, can you please just tell us um, why you love the Willows Park Preserve, why it's so special to you? Um, yeah, again, you know, I live in North Wayne now, but I did live on the Chanticleer estate and the, this whole area was nothing but estates at one point. And I think that's a legacy, a strong legacy that Radnor has that it should be proud of. Uh, you know, personally, my son was married there. I mean, it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Howard. How about you, John, in about a minute or less? <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be brief. From the first floor, with Bob Crawford, I, I, I loved that building and tried to hold many events there. And in fact, when I remarried, uh, my wife and I were married at the Willows, uh, not at the, the big wall in front, but in the back steps behind, uh, uh, behind the solarium. Uh, the, the building lends itself to, to all kinds of uses. And, and, and I have so many memories of, of meetings with parents and events with PTAs and, and, and I, my, my, uh, my, my wedding there that uh, I, I, I think the, the, the uses are limitless. If you think you uh, uh, want a beautiful site that has a view to die for, you should come to the Willows and just stand on the back terrace and look out. Um, so I'm hoping that people will do that again uh, even though uh, it's been a while since it's had the level of use that it had during the time I was here. Well, thank you. Um, I, I think we've run out of time for today. Um, so I'd like to thank our two guests. I'd like to thank Howard and John for joining us. Um, if you'd like any more information about the Willows Park Preserve, you can go to our website, which is at www.willowsparkpreserve.org. So thank you again. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you can all join us next time.